So these are called Moondrop Ju2 and if you're planning to get these, so these are available in two variants. The one that I have is called Moondrop Ju2 which is priced around 1800 rupees and the other variant is called Moondrop Ju2 DSP or Moondrop Ju which is priced around 2200 rupees. The only difference between the two models is that the one that I have comes with a 3.5mm jack and the other one comes with a Type-C cable and a chip built into the Type-C port for better audio clarity or better balance. I just wanted to test out the main driver so I decided to go for the base variant and in case needed you can always upgrade to the type c cable so as you can see the box contents and packing is slightly on a premium side so you get this moon drop leather carry pouch which is really of a good quality then you have this user manual some paperwork a warranty card and some animated characters you also get a few extra pair of ear tips in small medium and large and also a really good quality cable also i think it's the first time i'm coming across an im that doesn't come with a pre-installed silicon ear tip so this is something you have to do yourself in my case i'll go with the medium size and also the front nozzle on these ims can be removed so that you can clean the filters just in case it gets dirty just be careful that you don't drop it so the first thing I want to talk about is design and build quality so when I was looking at these in the pictures I was thinking like it's a slightly bigger build but now that I've received it you can already see how small and compact they are if I compare them with these KZ casters so it's really very tiny and very compact if you're someone who always had some issues with your fittings related to earphones or IEM so you can already see how effortlessly it goes into my ears and after it goes in I don't have to make any sort of micro adjustments related to fitting and just because the fitting is so good so the kind of noise isolation I'm getting after wearing them is just too good also if I talk about the build quality so it's an all metal build there is no plastic or any sort of resin being used anywhere even the nozzles are made from brass and it's all CNC machine and also the diaphragm they are using has some sort of magnesium aluminium coating on that also if I talk about the cables so the cables that are coming from these is very soft and they are completely tangle free they really look good it's a white silverish cable that goes on very nicely with these black colored IEMs and at this particular price point I would say it gives you a very premium feeling so now talking about the important part which is the audio quality and along with this i also want to talk about two other ims which which are these like kz zsn pro and kz caster for the sake of reference and to give you a better picture about the sound signature so first of all i want to start with the frequency response so if you look at these response especially that gold line so you will see a spike in the region from 3000 hertz to 4000 hertz and then a spike again at 9000 hertz and further the frequency is falling down as you go up to 20000 hertz so this simply means that the ims are going to sound very good in the vocal region but the high frequencies are not going to be too sharp so when i was using them straight of the box my first impression was that the ims are really very bright when i say bright it means that the vocals are absolutely clear the male voices and female voices are really on to the point which simply means that these ims are really good for watching vocal based content but when i was listening to songs i was getting a good separation in the high frequency region but yeah the bass was little compromised now the reason for that compromisation is that all comes down to that 10 millimeter single dynamic driver which has its own limitation so that limitation comes in the form of not having a good base i would not say the base is like very insufficient but yeah if you are someone who loves to hear a lot of bass oriented content so this ims is definitely not for you for the sake of reference if i want to compare them with these kz caster so i would say these are really more bright even than kz caster but if i talk about the base part so that bigger 10 millimeter driver on the kz caster gives you a lot of thump and a lot of boom so you would not be getting that thump and that boom with these bone drop q2 and just look at the size it's like so compact it has a big cavity big driver so it just pushes in pushes in and out a lot of air to give you that boom and thump so for bass go with kz caster for good vocals you can go with the bone drop q2 also if i want to compare these with these kz zsn pro so i'm sure like those of you have the kz zsn pro or maybe kz zsn pro x the only complaint with these iems is that these are sometimes very sharp in the high frequency region sharp to the extent that you cannot hear some of the high frequencies especially when you're playing these at a very high volume so that problem would won't be there with the moon drop q2 even if you're playing these at high volume it will feel very balanced but because the vocals are very bright so it was just going to suppress that bass section so you can say it's going to feel very loud but not very sharp as it was there with the KZ ZSN Pro. The next thing is that how to make these IEMs sound more better because I like the vocal clarity on this one and I think if I can kick up the bass and bring some high frequencies down so these could be one of the best sounding IEMs because I want to use this for everyday basis because of the fitting and kind of comfort they have. So simply download this application called FX Sound onto your laptop or your Windows computer. Simply apply the first setting 
as you will apply the first setting the general one it will make you feel that the ims have got more powerful and the sound stage has got little more wide the next step is to bring down some vocal frequencies kick in some bass frequencies and also bring down some vocal uh, bring down some high frequencies if you can do that manually by yourself it's good or you can go to the description of this video and i have created a preset using this app so simply go into your settings and import that preset i think that's the best way uh, you can make these IMs sound much better as it was before. Here is a sound comparison of these IMs with the KZ Caster and I hope you like this video. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.